Hey, I just finished up my latest harvest slash pumpkin prop for my yard this Halloween. Uh, this one took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to. I did it in two pieces. I did the standing dummy, and then I did the wheelbarrow full of dirt and a dead body. You know, it's been busy, but I got it done. I'm pretty pleased with this one. It was a lot of fun to make. Had a lot of different elements that went into it. I got to do some woodworking. I love doing woodworking props the most, so that was good. If you like the way that the last few of these have turned out, you're definitely not going to want to miss the next one that I do, so be sure to subscribe. That way you won't miss it. <laughs> so, alright, here's how I made it. So I realized on a few of these projects that I've done, I talk about using a biscuit joiner and biscuiting and stuff. But I never really showed or explained what it was. So this is a biscuit joiner tool. What it does, I can get it up here. The short of it is you use it to cut a little slot in a couple boards to join the boards together. So you can see I've got some slots cut in these. And then this is a wood biscuit. So you would Put a bunch of wood glue there, put the biscuit in, and that is how I attach the boards when I talk about biscuiting them. So like I biscuited these, these are the sides of the wheelbarrow, got two of them, and then this is going to be the wheel. So what I did here was I cut four 14 inch boards. 14 inches long, and it's three and a half inches wide, and I biscuited them. And then I did the same thing here, but I glued and screwed them together with opposite patterns. So I want it to look like a really, really rudimentary wood wheel, but I wanted an alternating pattern. This thing isn't really gonna, I'm not gonna make this wheelbarrow in a way in which I'm actually gonna be able to move the wheel. It's just gonna be a stationary prop. I really need to build a proper wood shop somewhere in my basement or my backyard or something because I'm using yard waste cans to store stuff on top of, a grill, this little potting bench. And I used to have a, a bigger place to do this at the haunt, and now I don't. And at one time I had a bigger area in my basement for wood shop, but I gave that up to my kids for a playroom. So it's been a little bit frustrating working on this project only because the weather has not been cooperating. I've been at it for about a week and I keep getting rained out during the times that I have to work on it. But what I've got done so far is I've got the body of the wheelbarrow built. Uh, so I cut these at an angle because I wanted to... I didn't want the sides angled out but I did want the front angled like a scoop. And I want it. I left it short like that on purpose because I have this piece that I want to stick over to create a lip right here. But first, I got to take this three eighths inch. Ugh, excuse me. I'm gonna take this three eighths inch plywood first and air nail it to the bottom of the wheelbarrow. But I gotta rush through this before it starts raining on me yet again. Very slowly making progress on the wheelbarrow project. Not as much as I'd like, because the weather's not been that great during the times I've had to work on this. So it's taken me longer than I thought it was going to. But so far, I got the body put together. So just to recap, we took uh, five and a half, well, I, they call it six inch, but it's really like five and a half inch standard boards. And I biscuited two of them together for the sides. I did the same thing in the front. And then I cut the two sides at this angle. And I got a piece of 3 8 inch plywood air nailed to the bottom of it. And now what I'm going to do is I rip down some 2x6s into 3... Or I rip down one 2x6 into 3 2x2s. I'm going to use that for the handles. I guess that's what you would call it, right? The underneath part, the handles that are going to go out and attach to the wheel. And then I'm also going to use the 2x2s to make the little back stand thingies. So it's starting to get dark, so I realize this isn't going to look the best, but I wanted to show 
the 2x2 two two structure I built underneath the wheelbarrow and I've already stained it but I got my little back I don't really know what you would call this it's just the little stanchion that it lays on and I got it supported with a couple 90's this is all out of 2x2 two two. I've got the handles I ran along it just along the edge for additional support on the wheelbarrow itself and then I took some other 2x2's and ran them in at an angle. Took the wheel, cut it out with a jigsaw, and then I took a 2x2, two two, matched it up to the center of the wheel, traced it out, and then took a jigsaw and cut that square out, and then ran the 2x2 two two all the way through it to the other side. So this wheel is has a 2x2 two two running through the middle of it. And then I just took that whole piece because it was a little bit longer than that, sat it on here, traced underneath it to get the proper angle, and then just cut it with my saw. So I realize this light isn't the best, but I did want to show you what the underneath of the wheelbarrow looked like. So, alright, moving on. Man, a thunder. It's going to rain again. This is unreal. <laughs> I've had so many thunderstorms in the last two weeks. Well, the first phase of the wagon's done, or the wheelbarrow. I'm ready to start the next one. So the next thing I want to do is make it look like I got a body buried in some dirt inside the wheelbarrow. I'm out of, I need some great stuff, so I'm going to have to run to the store and get some. But I didn't stain the inside because we're going to make some fake dirt mounted up in here. So I didn't even feel like wasting any additional stain, any more stain on it than I needed to. The first thing I'm going to do to build up this dirt mound is I screwed a skeleton leg there to the front of the wheelbarrow. And then I took some styrofoam. Unfortunately, I wish I had more styrofoam for this to build it up a little bit more, but I don't. So what I'm going to do is use great stuff and try to build up a little bit better mound. After I've had my great stuff expand entirely, the next thing I did, I took a styrofoam head and stuck it in there too. But the next thing I did was I took burlap and stapled it down around to the sides of the wagon, but all around that mound of great stuff in styrofoam. And the next thing I'm going to do, work this into the burlap that I just stapled into the wagon, or the wheelbarrow. I don't know why I keep calling it a wagon. Whew, it is bright out here. But the wheelbarrow prop is done. As far as the way it looks like this. So I ended up putting four coats of that rubber on the burlap. My only regret is I should have tucked the edges down a little bit more so it looked more like dirt mounted up. But I don't think that's going to be too big a deal because I'm going to put some pumpkins inside on top of that dirt anyway. And I also corpsed the leg with some plastic and then just gave it a quick stain job on there so this one is done I think if I were to do it over again I wouldn't use burlap I would use some kind of like just material because the burlap the holes in the burlap sucked up a lot of that rubber I don't like this technique quite as much as I liked gluing the dirt down but it's not bad it's not bad, and it's a lot quicker than the other method. So those first couple cans I used, I bought at Lowe's, and they were $8. I found this, which is the same stuff, at Meyer for $3.99. The wheelbarrow, um, the wheelbarrow project is actually going to be two props. It's going to be the wheelbarrow itself, and then a sort of half-human, half-pumpkin man as well and I'm gonna actually repurpose a dummy for it so this is one that I've pre built a while back and didn't like it so now I'm going to alter it and what he's gonna be doing is holding the pumpkin he's gonna have a pumpkin head and he's gonna be holding the pumpkin in his hands not these hands I'm making some hands I've got them just sitting here right now trying to prototype where I want to put the pumpkin you know I wanted to hold it like this Again, these aren't 
the arms and hands that I'm going to use. I'm just sort of mocking this up to try and see the proper way that I'm going to need to do this pumpkin. So as you can see, cut him in half, and then I stuck a PVC T in there. So I know I already showed how I made my hands in my Pumpkin Man video. If you haven't seen that, I'll put it a link in the description below. But I'll just briefly recap that. This is a, how I start my hand. I make it out of cardboard. And I run wire up through there. And then just electrical tape the wire down. That way I can bend the fingers. And then I'll cotton and latex over top of that. And this is sort of like a progress. I kind of wanted to show it. So I like, I poke little tiny holes in there, and then this one is, I've already stuck the wire through, hooked it, and then smashed it down with the linesman, and then I'll tape around that, and then this I just wanted to show, I stick the wire through, make a little hook, and then fish that hook up through the top hole, and then once I've fished it through, I just fasten it down with tape, and it does a pretty good job. So, and, and that's all I'll show with the hands. I won't uh, go into an extensive hand video again. I'm getting good work done on the guy that's supposed to be holding the pumpkin. My little pumpkin man holding the pumpkin. That's going to be standing in front of my wheelbarrow prop. As you can see, I got him cut in half. And they just stuck a little T-joint there. A piece of PVC pipe through. Go through the middle of the pumpkin. But just that piece of pipe with the T-joint going through it wasn't enough support for the pumpkin. So I also took his hands and Gorilla glued them to the side of the pumpkin. Kind of underneath it a little bit to help support it and hold it up. And it's working out really well. So then the next thing I'm doing is I put a little bit of plastic on him and heat shrunk it. Just a little bit. Just, just a little. And then I'm giving it a little green paint job. Because I'm going to have just a little bit of this green showing through this flannel shirt that I put on this pumpkin man. That's why I'm not bothering to do the whole thing. I also didn't bother doing the arms or the legs or anything because those won't be seen. And here's the final product. So, like I said, this one was a lot of fun to make. It took a while. I was battling through weather and I had a lot going on at work, but... This one was a lot of fun. I got to do a lot of different things. I got to do woodworking. I got to do some pumpkin corpsing. Not those two pumpkins, but those two pumpkins. I borrowed those from a different set. And I got to work with a little... I got to do some dirt stuff. A different technique for dirt. This prop type thing that I'll be doing should be that popcorn machine I mentioned. It's almost done. And then the next Halloween yard display I'll be doing is going to either be a produce stand for selling pumpkins, a pumpkin selling stand. I got some cool ideas with for that that I really want to do. That's going to be a complicated one though, so I may break that up into a couple different videos. I know I said I wasn't going to do that, but that one might require it. The other thing I want to do is I do want to do another scarecrow, but I want to do a more traditional scarecrow, not one made out of a bucky, and I got some cool ideas for what I want that scene to look like. So that one might also get broken up into a couple smaller videos but those will be more like almost like individual standalone prop building videos so if you like these types of yard display things that i'm making be sure to subscribe because you're not going to want to miss those future builds they're going to be a lot of fun a couple of other videos you'll be seeing pretty soon is i think next yeah next weekend hollow weekends opens up so i'll be going down there to film for my other channel which is adventure mode traveling if anybody's interested in seeing my traveling videos it's the only thing i do but while I'm not going to film, or while I'm not going to show like my the day in the park on this channel, I do plan on trying to get some footage of like their scare zones and their individual props and show those off. But I'm going to try to make it a different video than is going to be shown on the other channel. And then the same thing with Halloween Horror Nights. I'll be going down there in two weeks, three weeks, the weekend after Halloween weekends as well as bush gardens those are my plans so on this channel like i said i'm going to try to get some shots of their cool props and stuff 
And I don't know, maybe I'll even find some inspiration to build something from what I find down there. Just hit September, so we got eh, about two months to get some more cool stuff built. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.